The internet is an amazing place full of great content for courses. What is not amazing is finding all of that great content and then having to copy and paste a thousand URLs into your learning management system. The resource list tool makes it easy with Cite-It. Cite-It lets you collect and add any online resources to your list directly from the website. So no more copying and pasting links into the learning management system or finding a resource online and then needing to find it through the library. To add resources directly from a website, you will use the Cite-It bookmarklet. To begin, you first need to install the Cite-It bookmarklet. To do so, click the drop-down arrow next to your name and click on Cite-It. Drag and drop the Cite It button directly into your bookmark bar. From here, you can close the window and you'll see that Cite It button here. You're now at, ready to add resources. To add a resource, simply go to the website and click on the Cite It button. In the window that pops up, you can add or edit any of the citation information here. And at the bottom, you can select the correct course reading list that you wanna add that resource to and the section you would like it to go in. This is nice because if you find a resource that you would like to use in a class that might not be the class you're currently working on, um, or maybe you're not even working on classes at all right now, but you still find a good resource, you can go ahead and add it to that list simply by clicking on the Cite It button, and you don't have to interrupt what you're currently doing or open that course resource list in the learning management system. If you find a resource you'd like to use for a future class that you may not yet have a resource list for, you can always add it to your collection and then access it later directly through the course resource list tool. So we're gonna add this video to our course here by clicking add and close. We'll get an alert letting us know that it was successfully added. And when we return to our list, you can see that it was automatically updated. We've just added a video, but you can also add open educational resources, such as a textbook or a chapter. To do so, you would follow that same process. Go to the website, click on the Cite It button, add or edit any information, and choose the list and the section you would like to add it to. We'll click Add and Close, and once again, we see the course resource list automatically update. Finally, you can also add a book or a scholarly article directly from the publisher page or even from a resource like Amazon. For example, you might have started with a search in Google Scholar, found a great article that you would like your students to be able to read, but of course you want to make sure that it's an article they can actually access through the library holdings. The Cite It bookmarklet will tell you that. All you have to do is click the Cite It button, and in that window that pops up, you will now see that you get an alert letting you know whether or not this content is covered by your library subscriptions. In this case, I see that it is, so I can be confident that when I add this to my resource list, my students will actually be able to access it. Once again, I choose the list and the section, add it, and if we return to our resource list here, you see that it has automatically updated. I want to point out that for the three items we have added directly from the web, you can see all are marked as complete. This lets me know that those materials will immediately be available for students once I publish the list, and I'm confident that everything is ready for them.